so I uh, wanted to teach you guys a thing or two about Burgess. And uh, I see that some people, mainly my friend uh, Tiger, has have some issues dealing with him. And other people just have no clue how to play him online for the most part. Well, some of them anyway. Some of them have the genuine concept. But um, let's get started. So, Burgess, you'll realize right away, is that um, he's got no good normals. Because a lot of his stuff is easily to be flash countered. And so then, like, just easily gets annihilated by people like Sabo and Luffy and whatnot. Because he doesn't have any Logia, first of all. And second of all, he doesn't really have that good of, like, defensive tactics. Other than just, like, running away and then dashing back in. His dash attack reaches pretty damn far. Because his hitbox is actually the whiff of his hand. Which, it's really hits really far. Like, even then, that barely hit her. Like, like it hits really far. Like, if he's within this range, just kind of like, kind of like, check him with your guard. Just kind of like, tap it. Or maybe hold it for a couple seconds, then walk away. Because more likely, he's going to follow up with his, uh, his deadly drive right away. Because that's guaranteed 40% every time. And that's kind of gross. But speaking of supers, he has two other ones. Surge eligible, uh, Surge Elbow. It uh, has two, two stages of charging. It takes about two seconds for each charge. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Yep. And it doesn't hit the whole screen by any means, but the longer you charge it, the further it goes. Yeah, like the first one doesn't go that far. That doesn't go as far. It's the third charge that goes the farthest. That one. So other than that, um, it's also unity chainable, so use that to your advantage. Uh, giant swing is really made to like make hard reads against opponents who like to jump a lot, switch a lot, or if you're just like right up against a wall. And you know for a fact that um, they're going to try to do like a ground attack against you. But other than that, um, particularly interesting move. Um, the two weaknesses of both these moves is that both of them can be either sidestepped or they can be jumped against. Or you could just like attack them right away beforehand. That's why the whole thing with like Burgess is like he comes in at the end of combos in order to get the maximum damage. Like, per se, you do a dash attack with the Sorrel. And bada bing bada boom, 50%. Yep. And it's really good because just the damage off Deadly Swing, well, Deadly Drive alone is like 30% by itself. 35%. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. But other than that, his uh, light guard break is absolute garbage. They technically don't really use it at all, so don't mind it. But the one they use a lot, though, is heavy guard break. Because it's mainly just to, like, go at the end of, like, dash attacks. Even though it does slightly less damage, it's more like for his, uh, his death combo, really. Because you can't... Well, if they're doing uh, the heavy guard break, they're most likely trying to just swap into someone else. Because Deadly Drive, you don't get nearly enough as recovery off that, but you get more damage. But if you do heavy guard break, then you have time to swap in. And then there's not a damn thing they can do about it. So, like, the typical combo with Burgess that does probably the most damage is... Area attack into forward attack into uh, deadly drive, like so. That or a heavy guard break, depending on if you're coming off of a combo or not. And it synergizes with pretty much everybody. And then you can do like the heavy guard break on wake up, which is kind of stupid.
Yeah, but other than that, um, Burgess is really meant for, like, going in and doesn't really have that many good, like, outside options other than just, like, pester them with that. Other than that, he's kind of weak in that aspect. But where Burgess excels, again, as the game suggests, is strength. He has a lot of damage, and I do mean a lot. Like, for God's sakes, he has, like, one of the easiest death combos in the fucking game outside of Luffy. And we'll just showcase that right now. It's literally just this. It's literally that. It's the dumbest shit ever. But, uh, there's also a more complicated way, but you need a specific team to do it. And the team that I've chosen to showcase this fact is none other than Rob Lucci, Guild of Sorrow, and of course your boy Burgess. So, what you need to do is, uh, well, I'll just show you and then I'll explain it. So, Heavy Guard Break, Lucci, swap into the Sorrow. And then you're supposed to uh, dash attack into uh, Inkatasimo. If I can nail it. It is a little tedious. Because the game for some reason does not like me half the time. Ah oh my god. I do apologize for not being able to get it on the first try. Or first five try the first five tries thereof. It's a lot harder on some characters than others because of their size. Am I just not doing it? No, I'm doing it right. It's just I'm either not doing it fast enough or hmm. Again, I do apologize. Oh. Okay, so I was supposed to mash the dash because otherwise you can't get it in time. Oh my god. Alright, so let's try this again. Heavy guard break, dash attack. Wow, I, I do apologize. Wow, really? Come on, game. I know you can do it. Really? Game. Come on. We've been through tougher crap than this. God, that sucks. Working with small characters makes it really difficult. Really? Oh my god. Fuck. Because I'm so focused on getting it. There we go. God, you really gotta mass that shit. But, uh, yeah, it's basically a death combo right there. But it's Heavy Guard Break with Robert Lucci. Swap into Guild of Sorrow, Dash Attack, into Incatasimo. Just a hearts. Hard swap, not like a swap attack. Just a hard swap into a deadly drive. And that's like 99 to 100%. God, I am just not mashing it hard enough. It definitely does take a few tries to practice. Yeah, it's really hard to get off. But I mean, if you can get it off, then kudos, that's like 99%. I'll definitely practice this against Whitebeard first, just to like get used to it, and then work your way down the, down the ladder of characters. This would be nigh impossible against Chopper, but the, the smaller the character is, the harder it is to perform, so 
I guess obviously against Nami, it's extremely difficult as you saw me struggle with for like the past fucking five minutes here. But uh, outside of that, um, he's not the greatest to swap in. He's more of like a combo ender, if anything. So like if I do like Rob Lucci here. That or if I go... Like if I want some guaranteed damage and kill a person, I'll do that. But if I want to swap into him a better way... Okay, maybe not. Really? Really? Oh, they must have nerfed that move. Hmm. Okay. Whatever, I guess. Look at game, please. So I'll do something like this. Obviously, you have to wait a little bit longer, but you get the point. Really, game? Come on. Hmm. They must have nerfed that. I know you can do it. Yeah, they made it a lot more meticulous. See, if, if you're not, like, mashing it now, then you don't get it. Like, 90% of the things in this game. Wow. Come on, one more try. God. Game. Please, stop being a faggot. Huh. I guess you can't do it anymore. They must have nerfed it. Huh. Because if you're too far away, then he just whips. But if you're too close, then they just fall out. But... Huh. I guess... Fuck what I said about Rap Lucci then. Whatever. I guess. Hmm. But, uh... He works really well with Guilt of Sorrel, amongst others, too. Because you just literally do an auto combo into Heavy Guard Break. Well, Light Guard Break, excuse me. And then you just swap in there. But you have to do it right away, because otherwise... And then you just feel stupid, because now you're wide open. So if you have Guilt of Sorrel, say it with me now. Auto combo into Light Guard Break. And then... And then, as soon as you... Do the light guard break, then you just immediately swap out into Burgess and done. Easy 70. You know, if they don't fucking fall to the ground. Yeah, because see, you just saw why you have to do it right away. Because otherwise, they just fall to the ground. Yep, there you go. 70% every time. Just with Tosoro and Burgess alone. So, Tiger, if you're watching this by any stretch of the means, that might be a reason for you to run Burgess against the other people that run Burgess. It's basically taste of their own medicine. So, um, one more thing before I start basically uh, bas just summarizing this whole scenario here is um, his unique attack is a surge attack that's extremely weak, but it's actually very useful. Because you can do it up to three times before he stops. And if you do it once, do it once, and it's not the safest of moves, but it, it basically gets the opponent off you. For, unless they're like a Logia user, in which case you're screwed. But like, this is really handy for dealing with Luffy, because it's got some range. So, like, if you notice he's trying to spam stuff, you go, hey, 
back off me. But you cannot do that, otherwise you get punished. But, um... It's really useful for, like, really frustrating your opponent and then, like, setting up for other things. Because a lot... His moves have, like, really good grab range. Because Deadly Drive is, like, easily the most obnoxious move in the entire game. Because he dashes for a while. Like, a damn while. Like... It's like the same distance as his dash attack. So that's why they always do that. Plus it's guaranteed damage. So this is really handy for just getting opponents off your ass and just annoying them. And plus it's really dirty against the wall because then they're just forced to either block it or take it. It does not increase in radius however. So, sad face. Really nice for annoying the fuck out of Luffy, though, on the other hand. I like doing that, though. Swap attacks. Because more likely, if they're mashing buttons, then you could just, like, swap into a different character right away. If they're not mashing buttons, then that's good. Then you just, uh, set up for your other things, like... If you want to swap to a different character, you just do air attack and then swap that. Or if you want to just get some damage in and make them afraid, is um, well, test if they block this first. If they block the second attack, then just kind of like try to swap into a different character. Because, let's see if I can get her to block. Because I don't think it's entirely unsafe. However, it is to the point where you just not throw it out every time. Oops. So, it's about a second for a delay. Yeah, because the area attack is extremely safe on a uh, block. It's just so much as forward attack is not. So you got to punish them whenever they try to do that. So always block the area attack because then the worst they can do is try to set up for a heavy guard break, which in case you could just like jump or master that shit, depending on which character they are. And especially if you're Zoro, because Zoro just like cuts through everything in this game. If you're good enough with him, that is. Really difficult to combo with the bastard. But, um... I'm just gonna showcase that, uh, death combo again. Just one more time. Alright, so one more time, while you have it awakened, is... hold this down. Air attack, forward attack, heavy guard break. And then mash ultimate. Boom. Easiest fucking kill combo in the entire goddamn game. And 90% of the time they should be dead. Yep, there you go. And dead. Yep, so if you're fighting Burgess, either get hyper aggressive with him, because most of the time he can't he can't interact with you if you're keeping the pressure on him. That, or if you're playing a keep-out character, you have the better keep-out game than he does. Like, Burgess's only good main game is to, like, end combos and to just be really annoying in the form of, like, unique attack, where he just gets you off him, and then making hard reads with the daily drive. And one last thing, his uh, special movement is a straightforward dash. He can't, he cannot dash out of his um, his special dash. So that means like once he goes in that direction, he is hard committed into that direction. But however, in exchange, he also gains hyper armor. So what people like to do with Burgess is that they like to uh, dash for most of the way, 
and then the dash attack at the very end where the hyper armor ends. So basically they face through like uh Hiori or uh Jimbu or even like Kizaru bolts every now and then. Stuff that doesn't linger for too long. Because, um, I don't know if they nerfed, uh, Ineru's, uh, Jumbo into being, like, hits every now and then, as opposed to, like, hits, like, immediately connected one after another, similar to, like, uh, Luffy's, uh, spam attack, which is basically the, um, Gatling that, or, like, literally anyone that has that same move. Like, even Rapalucci's is the exact same thing. But other than that, um, yeah, so take it what you will and uh, use this knowledge to your advantage. Alright, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.